Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami. I am chipped in time and if you followed me for any time at all you know that I don't usually do an introduction so we're just going to get started. Uh, today we are going to be working on documenting our December and the Make It Merry album with a challenge. However, I don't have a prompt that I'm going to be using today. I am going to be featuring the Kelly Bangs for Illustrated Faith Christmas Caroling, Come and Carol. Um, I just think this is the cutest little thing. And I want to, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it. We're going to do this together. But I think I'm going to cut out... I don't know. I'm going to cut these out somehow. And this little guy for sure. Not sure if we'll use these adorable little carolers, but definitely I want the music and the songs and the, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> and the um, Christmas music, the album. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? So let's go ahead and get busy. We're just going to start cutting is what we're going to do first. Um, it might be easier and quicker to do this on your cutting, you know, whatever kind of cutting machine you have. I know there is a PNG for this if you have a Cricut or if you have a, um, you know, uh, what is the other one that starts with an S? Silhouette. Um, if you have one of those, that would definitely be quicker and, you know, more precise. Or if you use your paper trimmer, that would be a good way as well. However, my paper trimmer is on the fritz. I need to clean out the, the little ditch. I'm sure there's a different name for it. I'm just calling it a ditch. I need to clean that and I just have been too lazy to do that. So... I'll just take the time to cut this out because, you know, which would be quicker, cleaning that out so I can use it or cutting these by hand? You know, which would be quicker, I'm just saying. So maybe I should just fast forward through this. But anyways, I'll just talk about what I'm going to do. So I want to cut out all these little squares. I just think they're the cutest little things. And there's so many things that you could do with them. I want to, uh, how would you say, I rate them. I want to rate each song as to which, like I'll probably do stars maybe. You know, like this is a five star song. This is a two star song. I, in my own personal opinion. And you know, some years I like some songs and some years I don't like some songs, especially like the trending video and audio on Instagram or any of the other platforms that you visit. Um, I would definitely say that Mariah Carey is, she is not one of my favorites right now, <laughs> just because I'm so tired of hearing it. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, right? That's my opinion. Maybe you love it and you play it over and over and over. And I love that for you if that's the case. <laughs> so, and these are all carols. And I think, yeah, they're all Christmas carols. And they are, I believe, faith-based because they're for illustrated faith. So I'm sure they are. I haven't even looked at any of the... <laughs> of the actual names. So Silent Night, The First Noel, Oh Christmas Tree, Away in a Manger, What Child Is This, Oh Holy Night, We Three Kings, Hallelujah, and Christmas Time. So I will not put them in order on my sheet. I am just putting them there putting them on here the way that they printed out. I just don't want the white space. I like how this actual paper kind of shines through. Even though it's somewhat repetitive, I still like it. And this, if you have been following along, know 
you know that this is from my Simple Stories album that I created in a class from Crafty Destinations. So that's how and where that came from. I'm sure you can still get this paper at the Simple Stories website. And then you can definitely print this one out, the Carolers, um, Come and Carol, Kelly Bangs. You can definitely get that one on Illustrated Faith. So I think that is what we're gonna do with these guys. And maybe, I'm wondering if we should do this one. on a transparency. I will say that when you're cutting, when you're fussy cutting, if that's something you like, which I actually do like to fussy cut, it doesn't bother me. Um, obviously, I'd rather do that than clean my machine. <laughs> but what is key about fussy cutting is moving the paper and not your scissors. That is crucial to getting a good cut. Um, so I want this here. So maybe, let's see, away in a manger. What child is this? Oh, holy night, we three kings. Hallelujah. Christmas time. I think I'm just going to do this. Or if we do a transparency, If we do a transparency, we can put this guy on here. What we can do is we can leave these guys back up here. I haven't cut this transparency, obviously it's too big, but we'd want it to go all the way. And then we could put this guy on here so that we flip it which hopefully it's not too staticky, not too bad. Then we can see all of the songs and what we have rated them. And I think I love that idea. That is most definitely what we are going to be doing here. I think I'm just going to cut it straight right here because that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't need it on there. I am going to measure this and it is a six and um, yeah, I'm going to have to measure those. <laughs> I'm going to have to count them out. Two after a half. <laughs> so that is where I'm going to cut it. And I think that I can use my trimmer for this one because I don't have it's not paper and paper is what is getting caught on here right now. Oh, and I've locked it. So we got to unlock it, of course. And I know that it's not exactly on, on there, but then this way I can make sure we're doing it the same size. So I'm thankful for that. That's a happy day. Yes. Oh, nope. That didn't cut it. Ugh. We'll try again. I thought it was just the ditch that needed cleaning. Maybe I need a new blade. Oh, there we go. I, cut, I think I cut it shorter, but that's okay. That is all right. And then it was a little bit short or too long, I guess I should say. I don't think it's going to matter too much, though. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cut it. Because I think then... It will lay nicer and look nicer and not be up. And I'm going to go ahead and go over it twice. Not move it. There we go. <laughs> Because, you know, we don't, we don't like that. We don't want there to be that big old wonky mistake there. I think I am going to need my hole punch, which we have right here. 
Whoopsie. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Hole Punch. So there's a big side and a little side. And even the, the big side isn't big. It is somewhat, yep, that is nicely done. It's somewhat smaller than a regular hole punch, so, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Just look right through the top, make sure that it goes through. My other hole punch has a wonk in it, so this is much nicer. Okay, we're going to set this aside for a second. No, we're not. I'm just kidding. And I'm sorry about that glare from the lights, but I want to make sure that we have good lighting, obviously. Okay, let's put these guys all back on here. It doesn't matter what order they're necessarily in. Just so long as they're on here. Am I in frame? Yes, okay. And I think we'll go ahead and just glue them down because I don't want them to be moving all over the place when I'm and I've decided I was gonna use that and then I changed my mind and now I'm back again. Whew. Do what works for you and don't worry about the rest. <laughs> I'm not measuring it because you know I don't measure if you've been following me at all for very long. You know this. I'm using the two-way glue that I always use and love, the Zig. And I talk about it every time I'm on here, so I won't go into that. And let's see. I want to kind of eyeball and see, try to make those as close to even as possible. And if this is absolutely driving you mad, please Get out your ruler and measure it. And hopefully it's not making you so crazy that you can't watch the rest of the video. But if so, I get it. Okay. So this is going to be a pretty quick video, I think, because there's not a lot to it. Um, I wonder what color we should use for our ink. For our stars. I wish I had some gold stars like we used to get in elementary school for our papers and our charts that the teacher would give us. And you could put a gold star if you were good that day or whatever. I wish I had a package of those right now, uh, but I do not. Alas, I do not. So we're gonna put this guy here. You know what, we're not gonna use glue on this because I don't think it will work. And I need to, I wonder if I need some red line tape for this because it's going to be turned over. All right, so I don't know if this is actually red line tape because I know it's not red, <laughs> but it does the same. It holds the same properties, I guess I should say gonna stick it down so that's really all we care about is we want it to stick and to stay and to be beautiful all day I'm sorry sorry not sorry I couldn't resist a rhyme my friends
did you guys get gold stars? Just me? I know that those of you who are about my age probably did. Those of you youngins probably didn't. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. That's definitely going to hold. It's not going to be an issue, that's for sure. Um, so, I'm not too worried about that. I am worried about getting this off. It's actually coming off a lot better than I've had it come off before, so that's good. And one more. Oh, those came off beautifully. Okay, let's make sure that we're lined up. This might be easier to do actually in the album. Oh, I almost put it sideways. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, so I'm just going to put it... Again, I'm not measuring, so I'm hoping that's about the middle. <laughs> and it's down. Okay, whew. I think my paper moved just a little bit, but I it's not off by enough that I think I need, maybe it is. Maybe I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, it's not going to come off. Okay, well, we're going to deal with it. <laughs> we are going to make it work, even if I have to trim the paper. That'll be fine. Okay, so now we need the, um, the stamp that we're going to use. So I have this little stylus right here, and that is from Lail by Mail. And the stamps that we're going to use are her year in review. And this is an old one. It must be 23. Might be 22. It's probably 22. And I love these stars. So what we're going to do is we are going to use that. My question is, do I use a solid star, a regular star? And then what colors ink are we going to do? Let's see. And then are we going to, we have to put it above because I don't have enough room on the bottom of this one, which I'm not mad about. Um... Okay, we'll start out with a solid star. I don't know if that's actually what you call it, but this little stylus is amazing. You put your little stamp on there. It's an acrylic stylus, your acrylic stamps, and bam, it's amazing. Okay, I think I, think I want to go, oh, man, like I said, I wish I had, I know what we're going to do. Okay, I looked and looked and looked for some, I'm super sad. I know I have gold embossing powder somewhere. I, I cannot find it. So I, we're going to try something. We're going to see if this works. We're going to try the fossilized amber and we're going to try this, um, iridescent ice and I'm hoping this is a brand new ink pad I'm hoping that we can make a gold star out of this it'll be sparkly so this is just the stamp abilities from um <laughs> Hobby Lobby and I don't I've never used their embossing ink, so I don't know. Like, it doesn't look, I don't know if you guys can see that. It doesn't look great. But, you know, again, we'll see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to practice on this sheet here. Well, maybe we need another sheet to practice on. I have lots of scraps. Okay, so get our little ink up here Burke. that doesn't even look like it did anything i don't feel like anything okay 
anyways, we got to start with this anyways. So let's go ahead and let's stamp our little guy. Why did he not turn out? Okay, that looks good. We're going to get our handy dandy washer and wash it off. I want to clean it because, oh, why is it sticky? What just happened? I do not know what just happened there. That was interesting. Okay, well, you guys are seeing the real Lucille deal, okay? Now, if we can get this guy to stay back on there. Okay. Now we're going to get, like I said, I don't feel like there's anything on it, but there must be. And let's see if we can get our star. It doesn't have to be exact, but as close as we can. And then we're going to tap a little bit of this on here. And then we'll wait just a second to let it sit. I'm going to go ahead and close these and turn them upside down so that the moisture falls. Gravity, right? And I thought my heat gun was right here. It's not, so that's okay. It's just right over there. And we're going to tap this off. Oh, and it did work. I wonder if that would work even without <laughs> any, any embossing. It might be too dry now. I think it actually might work. The oxide might work without embossing ink. We'll see. Okay, so one thing I like to do is, and I don't know if you guys can see all of the extra that's around it, but I want to kind of get as much of that around off as I possibly can. It doesn't have to be all completely gone but as much as possible so that it only the star is sparkly and I just shook it on the floor and I'm okay with that okay now let's see what happens might get loud for just a second Can you guys see that sparkle? That happened quick, quicker than I anticipated. Can you see that? Can you see the sparkle? I hope you can. That worked out great. And I think that makes a great little star. I'm not mad about that at all. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and do all of them. All right, so I put it back in my album. You can tell I have not completed this page yet, and I'm okay with that. I'm not even worried about it. However, I do love that when I turn this page that you get to see the ratings of all of the songs that are on here and that sparkle. I am sure it does not translate in the video, but that's okay. And I will probably come back later and put something there, maybe a picture of... Um, me crafting and listening to music or something like that. Or maybe my most favorite Christmas song of all will go there. That's actually probably what I'll do. But for now, this is complete and I love it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep documenting. Even if it takes you the entire new year to get it done, just keep going. Keep it crafty, friends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and follow. Turn on those notifications so you know when I'm posting a new video.